Well, but we pursued our values pretty vigorously over the past 15 years and wound up in Iraq and Afghanistan and causing untold harm in Libya and didn't really do much for the rest of the Middle East. Maybe we should acknowledge that Russia is primarily a threat to Europe and always has been, and perhaps the European countries ought to be the front line of the defense there and not the United States. Why is that a crazy idea? Look, you know, it's, are, you, are you saying that, you know, America is going to walk away from NATO uh, and its NATO duties? You know, European... I don't know. NATO's been around since 1949. Why not reassess it? I mean, is that crazy? No, you are. No, no. Is what, any... what are you saying now is exactly the reassessment. That's what makes people in the, in the, in the Baltics or, or in uh, Eastern Europe as a whole yeah. and even in, in the Scandinavian countries freaking out. Right. Yeah. Okay, and, I get and... it. I mean, I'm, I would be worried too, but as the father of a 19-year-old son, can you explain to me why it's in my interest to send him potentially to go defend the Baltics? I mean, nothing against the Baltics. But isn't that sort of the job of That's, I heard Europe it. I heard it in 1938, you know, Neville Chamberlain also talked yeah, about okay, fine. Br I've, I've Brits, Brits not, not protecting countries that they couldn't find on the map. Today, I hope the, the knowledge of geography is much better. And, you oh, know, America, America played, you know, its leading role since 1945. And it's right. defended not only, not only its, its own, in, you know, its own borders, but also the free world. And today, you know, it's so I'm hearing, you know, this very troubling noises, you know, uh, from a new administration that, you know, it's 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 a new era where America could, you know, could uh, walk away, ignoring strategic interests of the free world.